So this is a continuance of a meeting that was started on, <clears throat> I believe it was May 18th, although we've had a couple now. Um, so this is a Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Deerfield. The application of Brian Arthurton, 189 High Street, Greenfield, Massachusetts, for a special permit for RV repair, inside building or behind fence storage, and RV sales, front area as shown on site plan and designated area. Applicant is requesting this change of use so they can complete the sale of property. Two Feathers Restoration and Design will be operating the said business at 707 Greenfield Road, Deerfield, Massachusetts. So we left off the last meeting and asked for sort of more comprehensive site plan, which it seems like we see something here. Um, so what I would like to do is, I guess, have you present again any new information let's kind of go over this plan um, I'll let you know that we only have four board members here this evening so if we are going to vote on anything it will have to be a unanimous vote uh, but that's your choice um, and I believe uh, Mr. Decker has something to I, I have to make a, a statement to the effect that uh, um, the attorney representing uh, the petitioner uh, represented me in an instrument some legal matter uh, 14, 15 years ago, maybe it was 13, somewhere in there, and I just need to put it on the table. If they have any objection, uh, they should note it because, uh, you know, I just need to put it on the table. So do you, do you somebody feel can't that you question. can be uh, fair and unbiased? I usually try to be. So. <laughs> but I still had to disclose it. Yes. Because I, been, have I would have been a deep doo doo. <laughs> Excellent. Well, with that, I would like to ask you guys to please uh, present to us what you have now. My name is Christy Bodine. Do you want me to stand up or can I sit? Or? Uh, you can sit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my name is Christy Bodine. I'm an attorney and I'm a solo practitioner and I uh, represent Brad uh, Arthurton. Um, he came to me because he knew he had some questions and we need to be more detailed with this plan. So uh, we went through that, went through the criteria of the special permit, and I went through the zoning bylaws as best as I could to try to determine what was needed for this, for this plan. Um, and I just wanted to highlight what I was informed of your concerns the last time and then find out what more you need. Sure. Um, there was a concern that the owner had not signed the application and you know that a letter from his attorney would give you know, equivalent to the signature on the, on the application. He's actually present. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that. Um, the uh, far more detailed site plan um, done, by, done by a surveyor. Um, and there's an awful lot of markings on that plan which we can sort of go through. Um, Parking spaces have been wired. Um, the location is the dumpsters behind the fence and will be swinging. Um, there were concerns about where the snow was going to be um, piled up in the wintertime, and that's been designated on the plan. Um, but the uh, parking spaces are wider um, on the plan. And I don't know what else or what other concerns you may have had. The, the site plan, although it doesn't it's a little hard to see, but it actually does show contour lines um, for the lot um, and the, the parking spaces are now laid out as uh, 10 feet, right? Yeah. 10 feet wide. Um, he's also got a lighting that's plan that's got, that's got a lot of detail that has been yep. submitted. Yep. He's got spec sheets on the actual lights that are going to be put on the building um, for you to take a look at. Um, he's got elevation drawings that have been made to show the view of the of the site. Um, we've got 3D renderings um, showing you know the look of, look of the building and the way that the the lot is going to be used. Uh, so I guess I'm open to what kinds of questions or concerns you might have um, with this at this stage of the game. Oh, the signage. He's got detail on the. Uh, on the sign and the dimensions of the sign, the sign will just be on the building. There won't be a roadside uh, sign. There won't be any freestanding signage. So, so this is the only sign? Yes. Yes. I have a question. In the back of the building, employee parking, mm -hmm. and 
that is going to be just as laid out here. It's not going to be any deeper than that. Right. Okay. It'd be up against the building, sort of parallel against the building. Okay, but it's not going to extend out any further than, was that about 10, 12 feet? Yeah, those are 10 feet. I believe yeah. those are shown as 10 feet wide. Yeah, those are 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. parallel, just two vehicles. Does any of the public feel the need to look at these two? I know there isn't a way to show you exactly what's going on here, but uh, we can pass these around. Or He's also brought, uh, if you'd like to see, actually, we've got samples of the fencing. Um, this is the split rail material that's going to be used to there's split rail fencing along the uh, if I'm looking at the, the plan, it's on the right side. The I, north. The north side the um, and across the front. Um, and the existing is going to be replaced. He's also got samples of the chain link uh, that's going to be along the back, and that's the wooden fencing that's going to be uh, the stockade fence that's going to be across the front of the building um, with the gates. So that will pretty well screen at eight feet high. Um, anything going on? And it's also pretty far from the road. It's the setback is. It's a decent distance from the road, so about 120 feet, yeah. more or less. What is setback, 120 feet? About 120 feet. feet. The building is the set back about 120 feet from the road, so right. with that eight-foot uh, stockade fence, it'll be pretty well screened uh, from view. Let me give you the pictures I gave you guys last time, so if you have reference with what it right. is today. So I have a question uh, about the fencing. I know there was some, the last plan showed some chain link, it, or it didn't show chain link, it showed stockade fence and hedges, and there was some issue with this split rail fence and where it turned to chain link and, and which sections of fence are actually going to be installed. Some of them have been kind of, I've been under the impression there. Future projects, I, I think that we need some clarity on the fencing. Maybe that's a good place to start. Yeah, go ahead and talk about it. So this is what would be utilized on the pre-existing north end of the property. It's pre-existing. So when it comes time to re, you know put our fences up, we'll replace that. Sure. It's dilapidated. The stockade is only on the street front direction. Okay, okay, so it doesn't run back. It will yeah. actually run. We, we redid things a little bit from the southeast corner. Further down the property line will be all that stockade. Okay, does that make sense? Well, if you, if you look at the plan, the plan right will here. show you the line that it goes here. out. Okay. The piece that's angled there, to turn, that. yeah. Yeah. the piece that's angled there, no, headed here. towards the south will turn into a chain link fence only for the sole purpose of protecting anybody from going over the edge of the embankment there. Okay, but the stockade the is going to continue. The stockade would be from where those can join to that southeast corner of the building. It south will also okay. used to be just on the on northeast corner of the building to the north property line. We changed that to not just that, but going westward, we originally had a chain link fence and putting evergreens. We went ahead and changed that idea and just going to go ahead with stockade fence all the way back to the existing hedges that are presently there. So then we don't have to worry about evergreens growing in and taking time and that type of thing if there was any concern. So the little triangle symbol on the line, that's Those, stockade fence. Well, that's where the posts are anyway. Yeah, but that's, that's, the, that's the part that's going to be the stockade. Yeah. So the chain link will be going just around the back side of the building for security. So that's where you're going to see the um, X's on that that's red correct. line. Yeah, those okay. are the posts for the yeah. chain link fence. Yeah. That's how you can tell. So that way from the road front or even coming from the north end property, you're not going to see anything that would be behind that stockade at all. But at least we still have chain link around that perimeter for security purposes. And we also added additional lighting around the building, so now there's lighting on all four sides as well. And those will be depicted in your lighting plan. Now the existing split rail fence is going to be replaced by the new split rail in the same place? Correct. But your uh, 
the owner to the north still has an easement through that fence. Yeah, he's aware of it. He was okay with us when we spoke. And right. he's here presently. If you uh, put the fence there, then take it out later, you may kill your permit. Why? Because if it's one of the conditions of the lot that it requires a split rail fence, you might, some, some board, some point, down the road may turn around and say, well, you took the fence down and you were supposed to have it there. It was a condition of the permit. Well, he could come back and ask for modification of the permit if he planned to do that. Yeah, right? I'm, so, I'm yeah. just trying to anticipate no right. mm -hmm. problem coming down the road. Right. Well, he, under, he, he understands that if there are conditions on the permit and he needs to change those, then he would have to come back for the board to modify the conditions of the permit. So we had talked about, uh, about keeping all damaged vehicles behind that fencing. That seems like that is a possibility yes. now, uh, as long as that fencing is in fact installed, which would be a condition. Um, he he understands about, that the work has got to be behind the fence or inside, inside the building, building and, right. and, and not scattered around the physical part of the parking Sure. Yes. Has the building inspector seen these? Yes. yes. Any any con concerns? No, I haven't had to the site visit. Okay. Any other con things that we should come to our attention? One of the things to you know, it's shown on the plan, but one of the one of the points to make is that this is all pervious surface. He's not paving anything. In fact, sure. There's an existing concrete pad that's going to be replaced with a smaller concrete pad. So, if anything, there's going to be more pervious surface um, than there had been, a little bit. But um, so the sure. water runoff is isn't really an issue because of the existing conditions there. He'll just be going to be using gravel uh, and grass. They are going to go before the planning board. Yeah. We haven't no, filed the planning board down, application yet because we wanted is to see what concerns you had that you know we might be able to bring to them. Fence, sure. uh, the tree, to, so, so as to not go to cross purposes. Of the so we, had, we had some letters and I went rotten. over a number of them the last time, so I don't think there's and any there's a need to revisit the old ones. The fire chief had a couple uh, of suggestions. Maybe, yeah, those have been taken into consideration. The planning board, obviously, will take that sound. That's like great. I'm glad on to hear they'll the deal with that. Uh, the Conservation Commission submitted a new letter on the 25th uh, saying that an RDA at a minimum would be required. I haven't seen that. Uh, before any fill, alter, uh, oh. altering, et cetera, of area within 100 feet of any wetland. Okay. But there's not any plans to do any fill or alteration, so that, that even the tree work, though I know there was some concern about some of the trees in this um, in the back side. Yeah, they're leaning okay. over to jeopardize the building. Yeah, that's in the if it, there's a wetland delineation, is in a buffer zone. That means you have to have permits. We'll check that. Any that. trees that are pre-existing, what I know, what I've seen is what's already on the pre-existing fill that they had done years ago. So it's only on that top surface. So. But well, we'll that's take not a look really at our jurisdiction, yeah. but yeah, they, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll take a look at that with a contact. I, yeah. I have a question here in the yeah, front. Please. You have an existing wood post and rail fence on the front. Yes. It's a, yeah, it's 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 not exactly the style. It looks like it's like a post with a two by four type setup. It, there's a hodgepodge, so we want to make it all cohesive. And so you're going to you're going to put that type of fence in there? Correct. Yes. I was just because I was trying to figure out what you told us on here. Does it tell me that? Yeah, if you look at the the east side of the plan, across the, what, what I would call the front of the lot, those little dots that go yeah. towards this existing wood post and rail fence, that's going to be replaced by new material. But those are the ones that exist today, right? Yes. And if I read this plan correctly, those 
could possibly be within the state layout? Correct. We'll be correcting that. Okay. Yep. Does this show the highway? Well, here's a property line here. Yep. The pavement is here. So it's 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 about a 12 foot uh, uh less than 10 feet because it's 4935 to 48 so it's that yeah. fence is a little over foot outside the property so are you going to the car the the engineers figured out so you're going to replace it with another split rail fence yes and it's going to be on your property correct okay uh i yeah. don't have any other concerns i think he's taking care of most all of our stuff as long as we is we, if we do choose to grant the permit, that we put all those conditions in and that it be built uh, as as laid out with the thing is making sure the fence on the front is actually on his own property. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all marked. It's all been, the engineers have been out, all these great But what I'm saying is, I can't see where he tells me it's going up that foot over. Okay. okay. Yeah. Certainly include that in the conditions, and then we'll we'll all know what's required. Oh, that's my point. Right. right. No problem. So we had some brief discussion the last time about number of units for sale, and I don't know if there's a you know if there's a strong feeling one way or another about placing any limitation on that. But I had proposed to Brian or Mr. Arthurton that uh, you know somewhere in the ballpark of eight to twelve units or something. But that that's just a personal. Uh, question I have and That's when we deliberate maybe we'll discuss that but right what we did if you look at the plans there on the layout we did it in a purpose to maximize what we realistically could see as a maximum number okay so what's on the east side what's on the west side would be what are what we need for a minimum I would say because unfortunately when you order units sometimes you require three at a time or four at a time it, it depends on the vendor but the total numbers the total number that's represented there is 15 and you have essentially on the south side there you have essentially three spots that are much smaller they're not the same size as the other locations so if we have a teardrop trailer that's what's going to be parked there nothing more so that may or may not get utilized because of that basis so we have the ability to move in or out the yeah. units aren't all the same dimensions some of them are are bigger than others so. but that would be our absolute maximum that would be realistic to us for orders and mind you we're not maximizing the whole thing anyhow um, it depends on what comes into our shop that we may restore for ourselves to resell and or new units to be purchased and usually order those units in the spring they get delivered short well actually you're ordering actually in the fall but you're getting them in the spring what's delivered is what's delivered for the season whatever you happen to have ordered so as the summer goes on, it will dissipate. I have a question for the building inspector. Um, if let's let's say we will allow twenty vehicles in our whatever you want to call this thing, twenty trailers. Well, and then the next thing is he sells it. Are we stuck with twenty vehicles there? Yes. So we have to be careful to see what. They would be grandfathered in. Right. Planning board is going to go review parking spaces also. Mm. You guys can restrict the number of vehicles for sale, okay, or on the premises. The planning board then has the option of doing the same thing. The planning board cannot add to the vehicles allowed because you're restricting it. You would be restricting it as a zoning board. It's the stronger of the two restrictions. Christy, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. It's the stronger the two conditions that are put on that apply. So if you guys say you can have 13 vehicles, the planning board can't go up the number 20. Okay. That's the only And he's telling me 15 would be the ideal number. But he could he could live with less than that if you make that determination. But he doesn't really need 20. So. But if you took off those three and you're down, down to what you're talking about is 12, mm -hmm. you know. Um, then, but, but for purposes of ordering, those are kind of like those backup 
scenario. And what about the repaired vehicles? Do you have any idea of how many you would have at a time? In the shop, we can fit like, let's say four 15 foot trailers. Like I explained before, when we have a trailer planning to come in, we ask them two weeks prior to. If I have to have something out back, that would be just that rare occasion. So I don't want to have more than a couple back there at any given time. So we only depicted four parking spots, I believe, in that site plan for that sole purpose. In the back Storage behind only. the fence. So that's on that south side behind that fence. So that way that limits us to only four units in the waiting line if we were able to, to go to that level. Okay, another question. Let's say we go with 10. You come back to us six months from now and say, you know, I could, I could, uh, I want a couple more. I don't see a need for it. Well, let's say you did. Can we, can he come back and uh, appeal for he more? Yes. Yes. So he can, so. We're hearing, you guys can re hear it again. Yep. Do a restriction, you can re hear it again. Yep, okay. Uh, here's the case. He comes back and he has 10. He comes back and says he wants 14. You guys can pop up and say he has been a nice guy. You're only going to have 80. Yeah. So that option, that door is open. Okay. The door that I'd like to see closed is cannibalizing a damaged unit or selling cards on eBay or keeping the thing a year being cannibalized in the side yard or something to that effect. You don't, in other words, you don't want junk on the lot. Right. right. I don't want any junk. We, right. don't, we don't either because that opens a trailer up to vagrant or some other creatures that want to crawl in. <laughs> but we have park suppliers that take not sure. You can put a time restriction on a condition if you want to. Um, I, I wish you wouldn't, but you could. I've, I've seen permits <laughs> issued that say, you know, this, this condition is in effect, this part of the condition is in effect for, eight, for six months, 12 months, 18 months, but then you have to come back if you want to continue. Yeah, the concern it's, I have is it's complicated, but you he can't may do be it. fine, mm -hmm. but the record on that property has not been the best in the world. Well, you can also condition the permit on re, on review upon transfer of ownership. I mean, that the I mean, zoning you, boards do that all the time. I don't think you can do that, can you? You can. They, they do it with restaurant permits all the time. They'll say this special permit is issued to this you know this management plan, this these conditions, and so forth and so on. But upon the change of ownership, sure. the the new okay. owner has to come back in. And, and you know and have the whole thing reviewed and looked at again. So you can you can you can add that condition. You can't deny the business for the next person because it's right. a lot right. of use. Right. But you can put further restrictions or lessen the restrictions on a new person to come back yeah. because a new person is gonna to have to come back before the door. If we put the restriction in it has to come back. Yeah. On a change. Yeah, you can and you could, they could, you know, by the same token, you could put the restriction and they come back, you say, okay, everything's fine and have a minimal hearing. Mm -hmm. If you, or you can open mm -hmm. the whole thing up and do a full, complete review. That's at your discretion, really. Um, but we found that uh, in the past we haven't made that restriction as part of, you know, mostly, mostly permits. And Oops. I guess there's some case law that if we don't watch it real good, uh, it's going to get grandfathered, whatever we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got a list of stuff. That you, you so I've got a few things, but we should go over it. Um, should we go to a public comment well, again? We Is need there... to see if anybody else has got an objection. And, yeah. and yep. we'll close the hearing. We'll sit down. Sure. Well, and I'd like to out. sort of run down the, the criteria from the code, too, before you close the public hearing. Sure. Okay. So. Can we go to anyone who would like to speak in favor of the project? Anyone would like to speak uh, against the project or have concerns about the project? Okay. If you'd like to go ahead, please. So the, uh, the, uh, uh, the criteria uh, for special permits are at uh, sections 5321 through 5326 of the Deerfield Code. Um, you need to consider the social, economic, or community needs which are served by the proposal. It's a, it's a business that, that will uh, you know, enhance, I think, that quarter. It'll, it'll, it'll bring some tax revenue into the town. 
Um, uh, he's, he's interested in, in running it as green business in terms of lighting and energy and the materials he's using and so forth. Uh, traffic flow and safety, parking and loading, you've considered all the parking and loading requirements and the traffic inflow. This isn't going to generate a lot of vehicular traffic, just people bringing the trailers in and maybe stopping by to look to buy things, but that's that's been taken care of. The adequacy of utilities and other public services, um, there really aren't any public services on that parcel. It'll be septic and, and well, so, um, and the, you know, the, the street lighting that's provided by the highway. Um, but it's sort of self-contained with respect to, to those uh, aspects. Uh, neighborhood character and social structures, it really fits well in with that neighborhood. There's a restaurant nearby. There's a, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, the shed uh, building place that's nearby. There's another building, that multiple-use building with the hair salon and, and what have you. So it's, it's a commercial area. It's not, it's certainly, there's not, a, not any residences really any nearby. Um, impacts on the natural environment. He knows that he's got to be aware of the wetlands and back and, and whatever work he does, we'll, we'll, we'll check with the CONCOM and see what they need for a you know, germination of applicability. But that's been considered. And uh, financial imp fiscal impact to the town, um, it's certainly not going to do anything for the schools. It'll probably help the tax base and he may have employees. Um, so it'll probably uh, have, a, I would say, a net positive impact on town on town finances um, as opposed to a negative impact. Um, you know, maybe, you know, a little bit of police presence, but that's would be typical for that area anyway, so I don't think that there'd be any significant impacts along those lines. So we would ask that uh, you find that the uh, special permit application and the, and the information he's provided falls within the criteria that, that are required and that you grant the permit with the conditions that, that we've discussed. Thank you. Excellent. Well, with that, I guess uh, we should, do we make a motion to close the hearing? Close the hearing? Unless the building inspector's got something else to say. Um, what can happen is if they violate the conditions, the building inspector or me or somebody else can force them to go back to the zoning board to reevaluate their permit. Okay. In other words, if he doesn't do something that you've ordered him to do, uh, they can be forced back to the zoning board and you can revoke his permit to sell the vehicles or clean up his act, or whatever. Okay? The only other thing that I would say is whatever's on those drawings, I believe that you shouldn't have an occupancy for on that building, but he satisfies Question: Is the perk test been done? Yes. And it, it's fine. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And the the site that for the corner where look at the corner of the job and the corner of the job site. Yeah. That's where lease bill is going. Okay. Now. Uh, the lease bill is going to be scheduled 40, so it's going to take roughly or whatever way on Okay. And the well is going in the back corner. The well, the well is undetermined. I don't care what they call it. The well is undetermined. It's going to be 100 feet from the lease rail. Can't tell you what it's going to be. Well, it, so it's somewhere in that. So we can just make corner. a restriction that the well be in compliance with the Board of Health regulations. Absolutely. Okay. Just, you know, again, the septic plan, in my hand, and the well location in my hand, and review that, I can't say where that well is going to be. I can make them move it to the other side of the building, I can make them leave it where it is. It depends on. So we've already talked with the insurance company because you have to have insurance to do construction. So we're actually planning less than six months. So you can get in a six month or a one year. So it's, we're actually going with a six month. Uh, from the time of everything approved, the contractor states from the time that we start doing the septic and everything, he projects six to 10 weeks. 
So once we own the property, we're going to start getting our fencing created because we're going to build it. Um, so yeah, so we're saying less than six months we should be completed. No. Hopefully within that six to ten. The stockade yeah. fence going to be natural. It's not going to be painted. I I and depicted in here the top foot being that turquoise color tone, um, and then the rest of it being natural okay. from that point down. Uh, we'll probably put like a polyurethane or something to prolong the life of the fence, of course. Okay. Um, but it's not going to have any advertising or no, any, yeah. any no. or any. Uh, the only pictures thing, or anything else drawn on? No, no, not like your old dealerships that used to have big boards. Just, no, <laughs> you you're to only going to understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why you. we said he understands that there's sign re restrictions and. Yeah, that's why so we're putting a sign on the building. That's it. Um, but yeah, we'll have all that fencing, and everything in place, and I like the idea, like Dick says, get all that put into place, then you get your occupancy permit. That's more than fair, I think. I don't have any more questions. Like we, no, we're going to sit there and we're going to hash this out. And yeah. if, we, if we have a question, we can ask the petitioner yep. or his attorney. Sure. Would anyone like to make a motion that we close the so hold? Second. second. Yeah. All in favor? All right. Well, we just got to make sure that if we choose to grant this, that everything we've discussed is part of the decision so that down the road, we, we don't have a problem in trying to make sure this is enforced. So. Uh, I hate to bring this subject up. One of you members should be taking notes. <laughs> you, you, you got that elected for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you. Uh, he gets the big bucks. I have, uh, <laughs> I have uh, some notes. They're not very comprehensive. So, but. Whatever, yeah, no, absolutely no. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah. Yeah. Writing them down. he's got a pad. I do. I'm watching her. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, some of the things that we have here are all damaged vehicles need to be behind the fence or under cover. No parting out of any vehicles. I've got, so I've got no parting slash junk vehicles slash trailers because I think we should call them trailers and not vehicles. Yeah. Um, number of units for sale, that's kind of up for discussion. I don't know if. Uh, um, he wants 15, I think 12 would be. Yeah, I would think that'd be fair. And he can always come back to us if there's, that's why I asked if he could come back to us. Yeah. Comes back to us and says, okay, there's a problem. Come back and he can ask us. We'll see what's going on. If it looks like it's not an issue, then in the way this is going, then none of us may be on the board. <laughs> I don't know. And that would just be for sale. So we, we wouldn't have any number restricted for the number that he's working on. Well, only only the fact that he can only put them put so where he's, he's outlined on the, on the plan. Although okay. one could argue probably that all of this is behind fence. No, he, well. well, no, because he's restricted here, right? He's agreed just this is only employee parking here. Okay. He, he's not going to be able In to put tree line anything back there, okay, unless he comes back to the board at a later okay. date. There are some parking places. Just the two. No, there's, there's there's four storage, storage spaces back there. Along on the, the side, on yeah. the south side. We're yeah. talking about on we're the west about side. Oh, I see. Rear of the okay. building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. In other yeah, words, he could, we're he's, staying away from the bank. Yeah. yeah. He's got room for basically two employees to park back there. Fine. And there's two on the side of the south side of the building. Now. Yeah, that's right. Now we're talking. Yeah, more we about just want to make sure that you don't end up sending them down the hill. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So then signs obviously will conform to bylaws. Uh, hours of operation, Mr. Arthurton told us eight to five. I don't know if we need to make that. Uh, seven to not seven to six would probably give more flexibility. Yeah, that'd be appreciated. You know, uh, I Monday mean, through Friday. Is that Monday through Friday? Seven days. Seven days. I mean, the flexibility. The, the thing is, if people got a trailer broke down and they want to get it mm -hmm. in there so they can get it fixed. Yeah. You know, you got to be reasonable. I don't think we necessarily need to say anything about painting. It doesn't sound like he's planning on doing automotive painting. Well, um, he said he's not going to. Uh, but we if can put he it does in painting in the in the building, he's going to well, need that, it. That, that falls under the Board of Health Building Inspector jurisdiction. Yeah. And the state DEP monitors all painting aspects. If he's painting something in there and the DEP does it right by or somebody has a complaint, he's a dead duck. So we yeah, can add a, we could just add a sentence there that 
uh, if there's any painting to be done, he has to be in compliance with the Board of Health regulations and the EDP. Department of Public Environmental Protection. I want to reiterate my trailer is for repair. Period. They're supposed to be behind the fence. Yeah. Yep. That's the present out of the building behind the fence. Yeah, that was the presentation that was made. Right. Yes. You prefer that wording out of sight as opposed to behind the fence or in the building. The only phone calls I've received have been specifically for that. Right. Allowing damaged trailer and vehicles to be visible from the road driving by. That I have a couple of phone calls. <laughs> We talked a lot about snow removal at the last meeting. He's got a really he's got a spot it. listed here, right? With a around big circle around it. Winter winter snow to be piled in this area. And there was some neighbor snow issue. I guess that's not our. That's been addressed. Okay, perfect. I believe you're going to put something to the words effect. All the conditions as presented in the draft plans for the right. date of that plan. Yeah. Right. What is the date on that plan? Today's. I thought I saw June 1st on here somewhere. That's this uh, frontal. What's this date? Yeah, you're going you're to May 25th. Yeah, so you have for that, then you have today's date for this one. I need something to work by down the road. That's, okay. That's yeah, that's the site plan is what you'll get. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then the additional thing is it should be noted that the uh, plan shows that the fence next to Route 5 and 10 presently is located within the high, highway layout and needs to be located within this property. Yeah. Great. Uh, front fence. So no parting. What about this, the condition of it? You want to stay away from that with the new owner needs to come back for Well, yeah, this permit is issued to Mr. Atherton, and, and uh, if somebody goes to acquire the property, they'll need to come back in. And subject to planning board approval. Yeah, we're going to issue it subject to this planning board site plan and also conservation uh, approval. And the uh, board of selectmen have to issue any permits? But the Board of Health has to issue the permits for the well and the septic. Mm -hmm. Well, I can see without that either. That won't happen without that done. Sanitary facilities are necessary. How about the fire chief and electrical inspector? Same thing? Electrical inspector comes along with any building stuff. We already had that conversation with Wayne. The fire, the fire chief doesn't have any concern. I believe he asked for a Knox box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that was yeah. Yeah. Miss anything? And I got 12. That's about all I've got on my list. I don't know if anybody could think of anything else. Any other major concerns? This is on the easement's not a problem. You know, I guess that's not well, our. It, you know, it, it, it's on here, and if he takes it down 10 years later or five years later, technically he has to come back. Because it's not there. Yeah. So, you know, I just want to point that out. Excellent. Uh, just read them all back through, make sure, sure we've got everything, and we may have to take another pass through it again. Yep. So, all damaged vehicles out of sight, could we have out of sight and behind fence undercover yeah. to satisfy all In of that? In parentheses, behind fence or within the building. Limit number of units for sale to 12. Signs conform to bylaws. Hours of operation, seven to six, seven days a week. No painting or any painting requires DEP and Board of Health uh, complying with both of those. The front fence that's now within the highway uh, needs to be, it will, will be reinstalled on the property. No parting or junk vehicles slash trailers. 
New owner must renew a uh, review with board. Must file for a new permit, new special permit. Uh, planning board, subject to planning board approval, site plan review. We're talking about the plan as dated 525-17. The, uh, all these conditions on the plan dated 525-17 need to be satisfied before getting a, a certificate uh, occupancy permit, sorry and uh, subject to Conservation Commission be only because they sent us the letter. But. I can't think of anything else. I think we covered it all. And uh, do you think you're going to change the color of the building? I'm depicting it is in the turquoise color where they're existing red that you see in those photos. That's the only change. The rest of the building, the paint seems to be in good shape, but the red has faded. If the uh, gentleman over here has the photos, you can pass so you can see what the red looks like presently. So that keeps with the company color. Turquoise is part of his branding. Yeah. Looks like that guardrail is on that state guardrail. Well, I know this, yep. the state guardrail, but there's a, what he's yep. saying, but there's supposedly a split rail fence. There's an elevation behind change. It. The it road is. actually, as it heads south, actually see, right here? raises above the property. You see that? Elevation. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. So. Okay. <clears throat> I move we grant the permit uh, subject to all those terms and conditions. Is there anything that we have on that list of conditions that's unreasonable in your mind at this point? I'd rather have 15 trailers for sale than 12, but you <laughs> yeah. can't get everything. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I, I like the idea that, you know, here we go at 12. If it becomes an issue when I when it comes time that I start selling trailers on a regular basis, it becomes an issue, fine, come back. I don't see any problem with that. Right. Does anyone second that motion? I'll second it. And vote? I'm for it. I'm in yes. favor. favor. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank thank you. you for your time and your patience. And this plan looked heads and shoulders above the last, so I think we <laughs> had a good evolution well, here. I kind of figure I go, well, my drawings apparently did. Well, they were great, but you know, nobody What's else that? could I need look at them. All the other parties surveyor. needed well, to is, weigh in. This so this is a I feel better now so that uh, step yeah, there won't be any issues and it's not going to come back or get appealed or something. I'd like to get a copy of the decision when it's issued before the Okay. Field period oh, no, no, no. Absolutely. Make sure that everything's yeah. Are you going to file that? This is his half brother right now. His mother was I'm not sure exactly how well, it is, but we'll get the notes into the office. Time. There's a 20 day appeal. Right, but they have, a, they, have a, they have a time period to write it up, oh. uh, formalize it. They well, file I request it. It's going to do it sooner so we can close the Absolutely, yeah. Because that allows us to start the permitting process as well as soon as the planning board is. Perfect. They, they have, they have visited. I can talk to you about yeah. okay. the time. Perfect. Thank you all for your time. <laughs> so, uh, Thank before you we go through further, yeah. we have to authorize you to sign as both the secretary and the chairman, I guess. as the acting chairman. So I don't know, what are we going to do? I mean, that's a good question. You know, does someone else want to be the clerk? I mean, Nobody what's going wants on with to be Ron? The clerk. Yeah. Uh, we're not expecting Mr. Bonham is back. Oh, we don't know. Yeah. Well, right. they, we don't speak for that. So I don't know who, who do we make that call as board? Do we vote on that? No, we don't. We okay. can, but I don't think we can. All right. So I can take notes starting at the next one. Let's try it. So we can, maybe we'll just be in like so an interim chair and yeah. interim so, clerk. Okay. <laughs> so do we want to make the motion to the effect that we designate uh, Frank Morrow the third as the acting clerk and you as the acting chairman to sign these? Various permits? Sure. Okay. Do you have an objection? You want the job? Can we? Yeah. <laughs> I make a motion that we go along with Mr. Decker's recommendation. I try to make the motion so I don't end up with a word. Yeah, I like it. I saw your note taking, so I cut on quick. Yeah. yeah, no, it doesn't have to be so, just, you know, yeah. the main points. Yeah. And, and who says what. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, terrific. Well, I, I vote yes to that. And well, so the only thing that that, the only other responsibility outside of the meeting is that once they have the thing drawn up, they'll mm -hmm. bring it up to the front desk and then both you and I have to sign it okay. before that 20 day appeal yeah, period is okay. over. So okay. Pat will let us know. 20 days that's... doesn't start until it's signed and in the town clerk's office. 20 okay. days starts when you file the decision in the town clerk's office. Yeah. Right. With signatures. Right. 
And there's a, there is, I don't know what the time frame is, but there, you have a time from the time you vote the permit to the time you issue the decision, and I can never remember what that is. <laughs> well, we asked Pat to look that up because we had to check the dates today. To, I have a to, timeline somewhere in my computer. I could almost find like, it. We want to make sure that we were in compliance. Yeah, yes, yeah, because so otherwise right. it gets granted. By default, we don't want to because do that. frankly, I didn't know that Frank was going to be able to make the meeting. So I'm I, really, I'm really, I really yeah, appreciate I was concerned that. as to uh, I didn't know Linda how we were going to handle. <coughs> no, no. no, we're really very <laughs> grateful. So, this guy's my my wife's son. Uh, so, okay, so you can check this all back. Wait a minute, those all become part of the filing. Oh, they do. Yeah, all right. They're all they all should be folded up and put in the folder. No, no, it happened at noontime. Oh, congratulations! And they all took off. Because there's a question. Later on, where is that? We need to have a cool Okay, all right, a little boy, yep. girl. A little girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Later on, we can't figure it out. He probably wants to. Uh, I make a motion we close the meeting. Wait, you, uh, I think you got somebody back there who wants to talk to us. Oh, really? Uh, is there any other business be for this board? Sir, are you here waiting to speak? Mr. Kalashevsky. Is the gentleman okay, waiting well, to speak can, to us? I Is anybody else so. here he for can, he can let it go the zoning board? Yeah. We're done. Okay, great. Yeah. I just want you to oh, Yeah, yeah. Any motion to adjourn? We, he doesn't need to talk to us? No. Because he... Are you sure he doesn't want to talk to us? I just asked. Yeah, I made eye contact. This guy him. here? Right yeah. Here. This person <laughs> in the back there. This we don't want to keep... Fun. We don't want to keep the, the pieces of fence. I don't think we need that. No, we won't be good without that. Yeah. All right. We got pictures also. Yeah, so, hey, it's going to look better than it looks now. It's in the right spot. Perfect. Well, thank you, gentlemen, we very get, much. We've got restrictions that have got some teeth in it now. Yeah. We've got a plan. And it's all yeah. referenced. Right. No, and, this is what we needed. We've, we've got all the stuff that's in there. Yep. And hopefully uh, whoever is a building inspector at that point is going to be able to enforce it. Sure. Right. Yeah. That's all we can do, right? No. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. try to give them some teeth. To... Yeah. That's... So we can go home and watch the rest of the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.